Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. You have received an Excel source file, but the first uh, uh, 10 rows have only company information. Actual data starts from row 11. How would you skip uh, the first 10 rows and start reading from row 11 and load into some SQL Server table or Oracle table or any destination? So uh, th this is a very common scenario and uh, it often happen and uh, in, as uh, companies provide some information in the Excel, they have few rows uh, for business data, company information, and uh, so, so they use uh, some other columns uh, or the rows uh, for their, their own purpose. And then start uh, uh, actual data um, from uh, row 10 or 15 or something. So what, what uh, I have for you here, I have a, a blog uh, post here and uh, I have uh, created a uh, the post uh, how exactly you would do that but I don't want to spend um, you know uh, 20 minutes on this one and perform that for you uh, just to give the answer of this question so let's uh, consider this one the Excel and you see that the rows uh, are starting from uh, uh, A4 and uh, then uh, you know D, D4 is here so uh, this information is a kind of blank here so we do not want to read it so what we will do we will uh, uh, use uh, the OLA DB connection uh, and then uh, we'll make a connection to the uh, Excel file uh, and we'll use uh, the <coughs> the connector uh, sorry the provider type uh, that will be Microsoft Office 12.0 access database engine OLA DB provider that's what we will use uh, and then we will provide the file name and once we will provide that one uh, what we have to do here um, then you have uh, tells if it if the header uh, is uh, available for those records or not if it is then you say yes if not, not you say no and then uh, next part is you will use uh, the data flow task In inside the data flow task you will be using OLADB source and uh, you will write your query like that so select star from sheet name a4 that's where starting point uh, for your uh, where, 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 from where you want to read the data and D is uh, the way uh, the columns are so if you go back let's uh, go back here and then uh, take a look here see the D is uh, the last column we want to read so A4 that, that's uh, ID from starting from here and uh, D so I'll go all the way here and then it will read uh, all the uh, records uh, which are available after that so that's how it will work and uh, you can um, simple in simple words again putting that you will be using OLADB connection manager to the and uh, you will make a connection to the uh, Excel and then you write query and mention the cells from where you want to read those records thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video